Frogs aren't cuddly, but it is hard to hate them unless they end up in your toilet. They're big enough to accommodate a, a big frog. Yeah. This crew sees a lot of stuff float past their cameras, but nothing this big. Joan, what exactly happened? Well, I was brushing my teeth, getting ready to go to bed, and I heard this very loud swoosh, whoosh, and I looked, and there was this enormous toad. I mean, the first thing I thought of was, he is as large as a catcher's mitt. Imagine this thing sitting on your porcelain toadstool. Bill, does this frog have a name like Totus Hugis? Well, the giant toad, or it's also called Bufo marinus, it's sometimes called the marine toad, um, has several different common names. And some of the names that they come up with down in the Miami area, um, we can't use on the air. I call it a he but I don't know the gender of a frog, do you? Who's got that kind of time, really? No. Betty Barkley had her own anyway, toad commode incident. As I glance back to the bathroom he uses, I saw these two little eyes. Well, they weren't little. As a matter of fact, they were huge eyes staring at me. You had a frog in your toilet. Flushed with fear, she grabbed a fly oh swatter God. in self-defense. Get in there. Get in there and stay there, and you're going to get flushed. Which she did, but even the tide of her tidy bowl couldn't rid her of the critter. And with that, this frog took one leap and jumped on my husband's leg. Get him off me. Then he leaped from here to here, and they just connect. I don't know how they do it. How about another toilet jumper that also sticks to walls? Well, that would be the Cuban tree frog. And these commonly come down the toilet stacks, and they're fairly common in people's toilets. Then he leaped over to this door. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm after him with the towel. Then he finally leaped on the floor, and that's when I had my chance. Ed, how would a frog of any size end up in somebody's toilet? OK, well, there's several ways. They could uh, actually, if they're in the main sewer lines, they can crawl up the uh, service to their house and go up through their toilets. So who do you call if your toilet's home to a swimming amphibian? And you don't want to hear this. Ma'am, we don't do toads. Call your public utilities department. We ain't afraid of no toads. For Frogs 13, I'm Nancy Alexander. So I knew.